Yo, what's up guys, Mike Red Fox. In this video, we're gonna check out this little mini ASIC. It's a Gold Shell KD Box 2. It's like a Dana miner. And what we're gonna do is an overview of the miner. We'll do brief setup. We'll check out hash rate results, power usage, sound, how loud this thing is. We'll look at some profitability so you can decide if this is something that is worth it to you. Okay, before we get started, gotta give a shout out to asicmarketplace.com for sending over this Gold Shell KD Box 2 to me. You can check it out on their website, asicmarketplace.com. You can see the Gold Shell KD Box 2. They have it available right now. You can get it without the power supply, 480 US dollars. And we're gonna go through this miner in a little more detail, but I'll leave a link to them down in the description below. But Let's take a look at this. So it's really simple. I've had a few of these before. I have a mini Doge miner. I have the first version of this as well. And you can see there's really not much going on. This is the front of the miner. You can see it right there. It's just got reset button. That would be useful to us. And then you can see on the back, it's got the fans. It's got two six pin inputs for power and then ethernet as well, and then the little IP uh, report button so you can find the miner on your network. This model, no RGB, it doesn't have Wi-Fi, it's nothing fancy, which you know can keep costs down to get you back on your break even much faster. I wanna take this thing apart really bad. I'm just looking at it, I wanna see what's inside, but not in this video, sorry to disappoint you. So that's it, not much going on here. I've set up these before, it's pretty straightforward and I wanna get it hashing so we can look at the power usage. I'll use the meter on the wall here, which is very accurate. We'll do some sound testing. We'll do a decibel reading on this and then just ultimately look at the hash rate that I can get versus what is expected. So I'm gonna get this all hooked up right now and we'll be right back. For these gold shell miners, there's this nifty little website, find.goldshell.com and it will show your miner so you can find the IP address really fast. So you can see those are my three gold shell miners there. This is the new one. So I'm gonna copy that IP address, paste it in here, and it's just gonna give me a dashboard that I can control it. Switch language over to English, and we're gonna unlock that dashboard. Initial password right there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Might wanna change that at some point. I'm not gonna save that password. And then what I gotta do now is set up uh, the pool for this. So. Let me go find out where my other miner is and I'm just going to uh, copy and paste all the same stuff from my first Katie box to this one. Have the pool entered in and this ASIC is up and running and you can see I also learned about the power plan. So there's two modes that you can run. Right now I'm running hash rate mode and I learned this over on Gold Shell's website for this little miner and you can see hash rate mode should give me about five tera hash at 400 watts and then there's also a low power mode which will give me 3.5 tera hash at 260 watts. And you can see they have this plus or minus 5%, which just takes into account if the performance is a little lower or a little higher power draw than is advertised here. So going back over to the dashboard for this miner, I'm gonna take a look at its performance right now. And you can see I'm doing 4.8 tera hash or 4,800 giga hash on uh, this miner. Uh, running on that hash rate mode. So not at the five tera hash that's promised, but I will say in about the 20 minutes this has been mining, it has been creeping up slowly, but got to that 4.8 pretty quickly. The other thing I'm taking a look at is how much power this is pulling in line over PCIe. So this is not at the wall, this is actually measured over the two PCIe cables that are going to this miner. And we're doing 378 watts, 384 watts, 381 watts. So on average, it's about 380 watts that this is pulling in line over PCIe. For that, we'll say 4.8, maybe 4.9 terahash that I'm able to get out of this miner. Oh, the other thing we'll test is how loud it is. And I'll say it's very quiet. If you've had any of these little mini ASIC miners, it's just on par with those as it's running right now. When it ramps up, the fans can get very, very loud. So if you're running this in maybe a very hot environment where it needs to ramp those fans up to stay cool, it's probably gonna be pretty loud, much louder than a GPU, but not quite as loud as a server power supply 
running under full load. I'm gonna be quiet for a second because I have an app to measure the decibel reading about a foot and a half away from this miner right now. All right, so we're about 54, 55 decibels. If that's helpful for you, that's how loud this is running. So I would easily place this in my bedroom. It's like a very, very quiet white noise. Office on your desk, nobody's gonna notice this. You know, it's about as loud as like a oscillating fan running on a low speed. So really, really quiet if that was something that you're concerned about. But let's jump back over on the computer here uh, and take a look. So I have this mining over um, pool flare. And the reason I use this pool is because I can control the minimum payout. You can see I still have a balance there. And I'm running uh, the two miners here that I have for Kadena. You can see my original Katie box, which is running at the 1.6 terahash. And then the second one here, it's still averaging out since it hasn't been that long, uh, but we're doing that uh, 4.8 terahash on it right now. So I think the thing I want to do next is change it to the low power mode and get some readings on that versus what Goldshell says. And then we'll compare the two modes together and look at some profitability together. Got this little guy running in low power mode right now and it's even quieter. In fact, shaved about five decibels off of the sound it was putting out. And looking at the meter here, we're down to about 50 decibels. The fans just spun down even more as it's taking less power and running cooler. So let's take a look at what the performance is compared to what was advertised from Goldshell. So you can see in the dashboard right now, I'm getting 3.4, we'll say 3.45 terahash, which is very close to that advertised 3.5 terahash for low power mode. And looking at the meter, the inline PCIe meter, 227 watts reported right now, 228 watts reported right now. And I was looking at this while I was mining and I'm confident to say the average is about 225 watts for low power mode, which is much lower than the 260 watts that Goldshell was advertising, which uh, is really cool. It means this thing's running even more efficient than the advertised numbers. Now, ultimately what I wanted to do is figure out what should I run it at? Is it better to run it at hash rate mode or low power mode? Feels like low power mode supposed to be more efficient. I haven't run any of the numbers or anything yet, but sometimes too, like it's more profitable to run it at a higher performing mode based on price of the coin, hash rate on the network, et cetera. And that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna check it out and figure out what should I be running it at for my current situation. And I'm gonna use what to mine to help us out. So I've entered in all the information for each mode. First, we're gonna do hash rate mode. I just left the default 10 cent electric rate and I put in the $480 that this hardware costs. So we can also look at break even. So I'm gonna hit calculate and this is again hash rate mode coming in 77 cents a day in profit, and then a little over $23 per month in profit. And we're gonna do the same thing for low power mode. We'll hit calculate here. And you can see I'm actually making less. I'm making 65 cents in profit per day and under $20 per day uh, per month in profit. And which means that break even is probably gonna be different. Yeah, you can see it's about 100 days quicker break even if I run this on hash rate mode versus running it on low power mode, uh, which is surprising to me because I thought low power mode might be more efficient, but what the heck do I know? So for me, I'm running this on hash rate mode uh, so I can get more Kadena, make more profit, but it's another option for you to run low power mode. Uh, might be useful to you if you want it even quieter, might be useful to you based on your electric rate, might be useful based on the price of Kadena or the hash rate of the network over time. Overall, love these little mini ASIC miners. I think they're really cool and they're also a really nice entry into cryptocurrency mining at a really affordable price, to be honest. So big thanks to ASICmarketplace.com for sending this over to me. You can check them out. I'll leave a link down in the description below. I think that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer. Uh, but as always, hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Check out my Discord and social media links. They're all in the description below. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you like mining content or cryptocurrency content. And as always, please take care of yourself. 
take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.